And a scroll of Silent Skeleton. Alright, that's hoping for a book. We got some scrolls. Standard zombie. Get me out of here. Clothing store. Yeah, let's go check out a clothing store. Fur coat. That's what I need. Give me a fur coat. I need a uh I need I need tools in the back here. I need a sewing book. No, you're not gonna give me a sewing book? Couldn't get into the back room there. No book there. She <laughs> still got me. Alright, follow me this way. It's open for a recipe book. Damn it. Keep trying to get into there, but they're not they're not timing their movements right. I was hoping for a sewing kit, tailor kit, a book, <laughs> anything. I didn't get nothing. So, that wasn't so useful. Alright, done, done. 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 Um... Horn. Oh, we're maxed out anyway. I really should head back. And I'm all freaked out about the uh, the predator situation. Alright. Yeah, I should just head back. A mounted spare tire sitting on the ground. That is no longer a mounted spare tire. Oh, man. Yeah, no damage. That's kind of what I figured. My kicks aren't enough to take out the firefighters. I could shoot him, but I can't carry anything anymore anyway. So let's uh, put that away. Hmm. I'm worried about carrying my gun in my hand because it'll get yanked and I won't notice. Really like to get one more. Nah, I can't. Can't carry it anyway, so no point. Oh, that's the entry suit again. Back over in that area. Mostly damaged pretty heavily. Fire gear on sidewalk. Let's just fast move. Nope. Step almost stepped right into a smoke zombie, apparently. That is a lot of smoke spread across there. What the hell? Alright, I'm confused now. I got this like line of smoke going about this far around currently. <laughs> what the hell is causing that? I'm I am confused. Look at this. Uh, what the hell, game? Anybody have an explanation for what I'm seeing here? I now have a line of smoke just south of me that has gone this far so far. If it was smoke zombies, they would have already shown up. 
Are the field effects broken again where the smoke, maybe a smoke zombie ran this way but the smoke never dissipates? So am I looking at the path of a smoke zombie? I'm confused. I don't know what that was. Let's see if it shows from the other side as well. Now it says seems to be dissipating now. I don't know. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Aw, oh, clean turnout coat and trousers sitting right here. Ugh. What can I drop? What can I drop? What can I drop? Let's see. Sort by volume again. Um, I could get rid of the Nomex temporarily. Let's leave the let's see. Leave the rollerblades and the Nomex temporarily. Give me that and that. And can't take that. Let's wear that. Actually, let's just wear all this stuff. And another coat. Another two coats. All right, we should have everything we need now. I didn't uh, recognize this was a broken fire truck that uh, still had all the gear sitting on the ground. So that's useful. Uh, can't quite grab them. That's fine. Grab up, what, ten? Nope. Four? Nope. All right, forget it. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, try to remember to come back and grab that. Awesome. Now I'll have plenty of all that parts. Safe mode on. Safe mode on. <laughs> In instant zombies. Safe mode on again. No owlbears, please. Plus we got flurries, so my, my vision range is reduced. Okay, down we go. Well, that was a very, very useful run. Hella scary with a couple of close calls with some predators. Um, just drop the turnout gear right here where I'm standing. Let's see, worn to there. Get rid of. All right, um, got a nice good food supply right at the end as well. No books, though. All right. All in all, really, really good haul, though. All right, let's butcher this stuff up. Turn out boots, turn out coat, turn out trousers. Cut it all up. There we go. All right, I got Nomex and Kevlar. All I might ever need now. Score. We'll even things up with all these predators and stuff. When the hell did my torso go that low? Did those last little love taps I got from the zombies actually knock my torso into the yellow? 
I need notice. Hmm. There's another four days of healing at least. Uh alright, what am I looking at here? Do that. And that. No, nah, I got the bleeding stopped right away. I think it's just the accumulated love taps. I think I got hit a few extra times by those final zombies, little ones. And uh, I just hadn't looked up and noticed the uh, torso health. I thought I was still in the green on everything. Yeah, the bar system's inaccurate, so you can actually take quite a bit of damage before that bar shifts. So you, I could have been right at the uh, right at the edge. However, we're going to be here for a little while anyway, so we got plenty of food now for quite a while, so I can do uh, some crafting work. I still did not get a heavy battery, so we didn't solve that problem. Um, so yeah, the whole metalworking and getting into the barracks and the libraries is still busted. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, no electronics books. So I can't mod a tool to use a different battery type. I... I'm at the mercy of a heavy battery right now. It's a little odd. Alright, let's uh let's leave that. Eh, keep that, leave that one. And I wanna leave the ukulele down there. And before I do anything else, we're gonna go grab some more owlbear meat. Um eh, grab it all I guess. Do I have enough? I do. Dehydrated meat. 25 charges. Ouch. Well, that's not going to do much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 20 of the chunks, and it burns the entire medium battery. I need the meat less than I need the battery charge right now, so I guess we're not going to do that. Yep, I did uh I did update builds mid run. We'll deal with it. I'll just uh consider it uh, an extra fun factor layered onto the challenge. No problem, we got this. <laughs> Predators. Day 12. I knew as soon as I saw that necro, my, my little my little danger sense uh, started tingling. I started getting a tingly in my, my danger. Can't call it the Peter Tingle. Vormy Tingle? I got the Vormy Tingle going on. As soon as I saw that thing, I was like, oh crap, here comes the fun. 
All right, so let's see. I didn't want to burn the food dehydrator battery. I might end up needing to use that somewhere else. I am still stuck on not being able to get into the barracks and the... Oh, now I've lost my map memory. <laughs> I was wondering when that would happen. Yeah, we still got some. All right, I got most of the raw materials already accumulated, so... Uh, before I forget, let's get some bandages. <laughs> hey there, bandages. I'm going to start getting concerned about my disinfectant supply, too. We haven't been finding uh, first aid kits at the rate I would like. Okay, let's dump the food dehydrator before I forget it's there. What to work on? Alright, so for the light survivor suit... Just need to go grab some rags, and then, uh, because I have not yet found the chest rig, drop leg, tack pouches, all that stuff... Oh, I could use my tool belt. Um, yeah, I think I'll use the tool belt. Let's, uh, activate tool belt. Draw that. I'm going to replace it anyway. So. Alright. Uh, we need rags anyway. Um, I already got all the ones from up there. Now I am going to miss the map memory. <laughs> Did I leave any bedrooms not torn apart? Yes, cool. Alright, uh. Crowbar time. Good enough. Screwdriver wrench. Alright, All right, so. Um, excuse me? Oh, I'm wearing it. Take off tool belt. Oh, still got soldering iron. That's actually what's causing it. Activate. One more time. <laughs> there we go. Light survivor suit. Yay. So, final check on this for the kind of character I want to run. Go with the light. Could go with the standard. Or I can go with the light and Kevlar pet it. Kevlar pad it later if I need to. But if I go with this one, um, uh, this one I mean, there's a chance we could fail it. So we're even up on tailoring. I think I gotta go with the light for now. Won't be hard to get the materials together for a heavier one later if I want it, or just Kevlar pad this thing for the extra protection. Alright, three hours. Focus is good. Rail's good. Let's do it. Use the welder. Ah, forgot to put the Damn, fire out again. All 
All right, so we got the survivor suit done. Next up, Bob's hood. Oh, how do I not have safety glasses? Hmm, that's mildly annoying. <laughs> I don't have the boots. I haven't been picking up boots. Um, all right, that we can fix. Naturally, I need more string. All right, let's um, there to there, rope. All of you guys. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Cool. Good. That took quite a while. All right, so we got thread forever. Got the boots. Boots, gloves, and hood. And I just need the, uh, one more pair of safety glasses. All right, now we should be able to do everything, I believe. Um, let's go with the... This doesn't really matter. Oh, there goes our calorie count again. Just gain another level. Fab nine. Tailoring. Yep, we gained a level of tailoring. Now I can do the uh, <laughs> the heavier one. Uh, oops, now I've lost track of what I was doing. What do we got? Mask, boots, gloves, suit, uh, hood. Insufficient makeshift welder charges. Finally ran out of charges for the welder. Let's see, unload. Dehydrator. All right, there we go. Grab all those. Don't need to play my instrument for focus when I've got, uh, I'm just crafting stuff. It's pretty simple. Focus is already a hundred. Not necessary for what we're doing here. I do it for when I read books. I don't do it when I'm crafting. All right, so let's get this stuff sorted. Um, unload. Not sure this uses the same thing actually. Apparently it does. All right, mask is there. Stump the sock mitts. Keep the liners, dump those. Uh, 
All right. Umbrance. Temporarily drop. Alright, so this would be theoretically my mostly fighting gear. Um, what else are we going to work on? I better eat something. Let's have... Sausage. Let's pick up some meat. All right, have some tea first. And we'll have some cooked meat. <laughs> multiple backpacks and purses pouches Don't have the screwdriver set or the wood saw to put together the utility belt yet. Telescope, we just need the mold, you know, problem. All right, so telescope's done. Theoretically. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, telescope recipe still broke. When are they gonna fix that thing? Alright, temporarily put that on. Uh, I guess we'll drop it down here. All right, time to spawn in another telescope. <laughs> All right, so what else was I working on? Got the telescope, can't do the belt. Just looking at doing the um, one backpack. Think about that. Might put on the Survivor Heavy Helmet. Not too many reasons not to use it. Alright, Ruck Pack. Back. Let's go with the Backpack for now. Uh, 
Alright, so I need one more duffel bag. And four more pouches. Oh, we actually ran out of leather. 23 out of 24. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Or 30 out of 40 rags. Oh, let's go get some more rags. I know we're tired. We're hungry. I want to get all this, much of this stuff done as I can in one go. Um, there we go. Oh, that's right. I didn't bring enough carry material. Uh, that's fine. Ah, right, now we're talking. <laughs> so I'm at 21 without the duffel. Um, if we throw the duffel on, we jump up to 58. Between the survivor backpack and the survivor duffel, they've got a little bit more protection. Not a lot, a little bit. Uh, that gets those out of the way. So uh, what's left? Utility belt, the wood saw, and the screwdriver set necessary. Once I get the metalworking done, we can't do anything about that until we loot it. I think I'll sleep and then we'll finalize. I'll, I'll make that heavy helmet and we'll call it good. Alright, so poor, 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 huh? It already degraded? That kind of sucks. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. All right, man, let's refresh it. Where'd you go, bandages? All right, what's going on? Ah, I'll hit the ground. Alright, let's go with that for now. <laughs> um, Light Nomad? Is that actually new? I, I, I almost never even look at Nomad anymore. Typically because the time frames that my challenges end, I never, I'm never in a period of temperature where the Nomad gear has been worth it. And I don't really need 4 million liters of storage capacity. So the big advantage for Nomad gear is the storage capacity. So, uh, I mean, you get 20 storage just for wearing the Nomad gear that covers torso, arms, and legs. So, I mean, huge pockets. But um, that's not usually an issue for me. I mean, as the game goes along, I very, very quickly transition from needing stuff to uh, needing protection. So, it's just a weird piece of gear for me because of the 40 warmth. Because I almost never play in the winter time unless... And I haven't done a winter start in forever. So the 40 warmth is bad for uh, mid-spring, summertime, and um, the 8-8 protection is middling, and it's only 95% coverage. So I almost always transition from bare bones, sh shattered, <laughs> torn up clothing into end game gear. That's kind of my transition point. I almost never go through step A, B, C, D, E in clothing. I go from A to E. Um, I just know the game too well. I know exactly what stuff I need. I know how to get it. I know where it's at. So I, I, it's really easy for me to accumulate and find everything, whether I'm choosing to do survivor gear or not. Even if I go without survivor gear and pick other stuff, um, I just, I know where it's at. So 
Um, if I'm going to play a game with Survivor gear, that's what I go for 99% of the time because of the 100% coverage, really. Especially if you're going to do a lot of fighting, melee fighting in particular. That coverage is stupid important. So even 5%, when you're getting hit enough times by enough even little zombies, that 5% that completely bypasses the 8-8 protection is a huge factor. So that's kind of my thoughts of Nomad. <laughs> Between the, uh, the 95%, the 40 warmth, and my not usually, by the time I can make this, I don't really need that much storage. I mean, I, I'm done at this point with my storage needs. Um, I'll carry around, I'll, I'll fight with the backpack, and I'll carry the duffel bag, and I'm good to go. Assuming I can carry it. <laughs> it's too bulky for me now, but I've got a lot of crap in my inventory that I'll, I'll get rid of. That'll fix that. So, it's going to be different for different folks. Just depending on their play style and what they've got available and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm not saying it's bad gear. Probably good gear. It's good gear. It's just not good for me in particular for the way I play. So, I don't have an option for light. <laughs> I search for Nomad. Oh, that. I do have an option. I didn't look at it. 4-4 uh, protection. Mm. 10 warmth is much better. 4-4 four, four protection is almost nothing. I mean, you'll get more protection out of a leather jacket than you will out of that. Um, and again, it's it's this is what kills me. It's the it's the coverage value. So um I don't know. Not bad, but uh if you've got all these materials to put it together, a tunic, chest rig, tack dump, pouches. Yeah, it's not hard to put together. Um Tailoring four to get to build it. Mm, yeah, that's not bad. I like the light nomad a lot better than I like the full nomad. But it would definitely be a fairly early gameish one. But you can get to tailoring four really, really quickly and easily when you know the steps. Out of just very basic raw materials, don't even need any books. So. What's the tunic take? The tunic I don't know about. Cargo shorts, no big deal. Oh, it's it's it requires either or. That's a bit of a problem. That's not simple things to get a hold of. They're not rare by any means, but uh, you gotta you gotta pay pretty close attention and know you might need these. I always grab at least one of these as I'm traveling when I see them because I know I'm gonna need them for survivor gear and such. But um, you can make the pouches, so you don't need anything fancy for this line. And this one's fairly tough as well. So it's got some a couple of items that you've got to really pay attention to grab a hold of. Tool belt, drop leg, chest rig, utility vest. So uh, it's got some things to it. If you got all stuff laying around, I might consider it. But um, it's definitely not super easy to get into because of that stuff. So not bad. Better than the other one, but still a little tricky to make. Especially for a brand new player. Um, to try to get a hold of some of those items. All right, let's uh, let's keep pounding the the meat diet for now. Let's get some more meat cooked up real quick. Need to get some more uh, pine needle tea as well. All right, put the fire back out. I do really, really, really like the put the fire out command. <laughs> really happy that got added in. Okay, what was I working on next? Um, got the telescope, we got the backpacks, we got the, oh yeah, I was gonna do the uh, the heavy helmet. So, the heavy helmets, if you're not aware, there's still and currently no downside to having encumbrance on your head. As long as it's just the head, not eyes and mouth, just the head. There's no negative. So there's no reason not to stack the biggest, densest, thickest protection you can get on your brain pan. So your brain case needs all the protection it can get, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Oh, sinew. Sure, sinew. Scrap metal's good. Oh, go ahead and convert the bike helmet, because I'll never wear it again. It's a piece of crap anyway. 
Stomach feels so empty. Yes, I know. All right, grab that. I can't put it on because I've got the... Oh, I can put it on. I can wear that and the hood. That's interesting. I can wear the hood and the helmet simultaneously? Because that's... Um... Did I know that? I, I probably knew that and have forgotten, but that's kind of weirdish. Oh, they are on different uh, different layers as well. All right, cool. Light Survivor Hood Helmet. There you go, kitties. Make sure that's what you do. That's some good protection. So 2430 and then 610. So that's what, 3040 protection on my brain at 100%. So it's always there. 30, 40. So pretty much bullets. I'm not thinking much else is going to get through 30, 40 protection. Heavy caliber bullets and... I'm not sure what else would, would puncture through that. That is a lot of protection. Alright, so torso, we're still not seeing much. We've only got uh, 7, 11. i got to fix that flame suit. Let's do that next. Um... Can't believe I'm still using a wooden needle. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, I need to go through and reinforce everything. And reinforce that. Really? Am I going to get through this whole thing without running out of charges? Wow. All right, that's impressive. <laughs> it won't let me reinforce the uh, flame resistance suit for whatever reason. Uh, nope, can't reinforce it. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fairly impressive. But let's see. So what are we up to? Um. Dump the welder, soldering iron, done with the needle, don't need to carry that with me, take off the duffel. Alright, so this would be my normal run around and fight, I'm not finished divesting myself and we're going to get rid of some tools once we get the right belt made, but uh, 21 would be my normal grab stuff carry volume, um, so this would be my fighting trim. That puts us at 22, and uh, this is irrelevant. So 22 torso encumbrance is really, really good, actually. Um, arms only at 10, hands at 10. That's going to be pretty good, considering we're going to be doing archery is our goal. 12 on our legs. Uh, what do we got going on here? Get rid of the... I'm not getting... Oh, I am getting a little bit of overlap. That's going to be these two. So we'll get rid of the panties. That'll get it rid of a little, tiny bit of the overlap. Goodbye, reinforced panties. You served me well. Uh, it's still at 10. 10 and 10, huh? Can't fix the survivor light boots. That's the lowest they're going to go. And I'm not going to change that out either. So maximize mobility. What are we at? 92 walk? All right, that's good enough. What else could we do to protect our torso without ratcheting up the torso encumbrance too much? The goal is to go archery, and we're almost at the point where we can start focusing on it. I was hoping to get a hold of the quiver, which we can probably make one now. Um, and we haven't done any traveling yet to go find a bow. We did get... That's right. We got Boyer's Buddy. Oh, look at that. Wooden great bow. <laughs> Recurve. Long. All right. Compound great bow. That's it right there. Strength requirement 18. I'm trying to remember. Is the, the compound is better than the composite, right? It's been a while since I did a focused run. Compound 18 max range. 
Seven pounds. Yeah, pound pounds better. All right. But we need uh, we need to get the metal working, which we're stymied on. We are stymied. I can't get that going until I get my battery problem solved. Don't want to go with the charcoal forge. So, yeah, as soon as we get our metal working solved, we'll get a compound bow put together. The best ammo we can, get a target target set up. We'll get the early uh, bow skill done with the target, and then um, we'll start using it heavy duty. So I really want to focus on the archery with this guy, or this, this gal. One of the focuses of the build for Stephanie Strange. She wants to be a uh, bow-wielding, bike-riding dervish. And we're going to try to make that work. But we still got a long way to go. I think this will help, though. This uh, this gear is going to help out quite a bit. All right, so looking back here again. Uh, torso. Go with the MBR vest. I could load it up with Kevlar. That's only going to be 85% coverage, but it will help uh, quite a bit. Beyond that, it gets pretty murky. You can make dragon skin now? <laughs> Lamellar, Kevlar? Hmm. That's craftable? <laughs> uh, I don't think I've seen that anywhere. Go with just the body armor. Need to put together a raincoat and get more rags. 95%, 6, 10 for another 8. I think I might go with that. Let's let's try to keep it simple with the types. Let's go grab some more rags. Let's see if we can get that put together. It's going to come down to whether or not I can make the raincoat. I don't know if I've got the materials for it. Rags and planks. And some scrap metal. So far, this lab's been pretty good to us for materials and such, and where it's located. It's been a lot simpler. All right, I can make the raincoat. I am missing plastic bags. I've got eight. I need two. No problem. Unload. Oh, that one. Unload that one. And all the fruit leather's done. All right, that should be plenty. Raincoat. Alright, so light survivor body art. That looks pretty cool. I don't remember seeing that graphic. And then I was also going to look at... Crap, what was the other thing I was going to look at? Ah, I had it in my head. Now I've got distracted and I've forgotten. Oh, that's right. I need, uh, I need leg guards. Dang it. Our guards suck. Scrap leg guards. Hmm. Can't believe we ran out of leather. I think it might have to be the iron greaves. Go we'll grab some more leather and uh, do the iron greaves. I'm not seeing anything else that's going to be better. There's no uh, no chitin version. We got arm guards, gauntlets.
We're missing chitin and leg guards. Somebody, somebody get on that. Somebody get a, a PR put together. <laughs> Why are we missing chitin and leg guards? Do the arm guards. And I need to get some leather. Did I bring back anything else that had leather? Don't need that backpack anymore. I think that's quite enough. Oh, it was. Cool. 70%. 12, 12, 6 incumbents. Let's do it. Alright, how are we looking? Oh, it's starting to stack up now. 16 leg. Ah, it's going to make me slow. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be slow. 94. We lost, what, two points? We went from 92... Was it 92 before? Take off. Yeah, 92 to 94. That's the big consideration. So, anybody new that's watching, what I'm looking at is this number here, legs and the amount of encumbrance. If you check your character sheet, and you go to the encumbrance section, and you go down to legs, it shows you running cost is going to be extra movements. Stamina cost for uh, swimming is move or higher. And then your dodge skill is down as well. So, I wasn't expecting to have any dodge after we geared up, so we're not really a dodge type of guy, or gal. Uh, it's the slowdown was the main thing I was worried about. So, we've got extra movement points for running is going to be the problem. So, if we go to run mode, we're at 47. We take those off. We're at 46. Yeah, it's worth it. Taekwondo, we need, uh, we need leg blocks mainly. We've got both arm and leg blocks, so, but the legs is the biggest one. And we're up to 20 on the arms. Ouch. Ouch. That I'm not as sure about. Arms is going to be somewhat important for our other stuff. Accuracy with ranged weapons. Stamina cost of melee attacks. I was already having a bit of an issue with stamina. Let's go without the arm guards for now. I need to keep that down as much as possible, especially as soon as we start trying to focus on the uh, the ranged. So leave those home. Oh, that's right. The kite number does cover the legs. Yeah, makes sense. Cancel my PR request. All right, um, focus is good. I'm tired. I'm about to go to bed. Let's have some uh, some raw fat. Yum yum, 1,900 calories, 3,800 calories. Still peckish? Have another one. All right, 6,000 calories before we go to bed. <laughs> that should help a little bit. And bandaging is poor again. What else was on my list? Could go with an earlier bow instead of waiting. It's going to be a while while I level up anyway. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll go with a recurve, get some arrows made. How about the quiver? Just more leather. No problem. All right. I think we'll do that. Let's go to sleep first, and then we'll focus on getting the, the bow set up and done. That's supposed to be a big part of the build. All right. It's time for those bandages again. The never-ending bandage spree. Alright, off to sleepy time. What are some good mid-game objectives? Got to the point where I've got my base well supplied, my skills up, not sure where to go. Um, you gotta kind of start making up your own stuff <laughs> fairly quickly. Once you're past the how do I stay alive portion of learning the game, um, you gotta kind of pick some some things for yourself, whether it's build a 
A lot of people transition into building a uh, apocalypse mobile, whether it's a kill mobile, meaning uh, like a dozer or something with spikes and all that funny stuff on the front end to run stuff over, or just a, a mobile base that you can move all your crap around in. So some people focus on learning that whole process and uh, getting that kind of a vehicle set up. You can also have specific goals in game of uh, go explore certain dangerous locations, go uh, kill certain number of zombies of a certain type. That's why I try to come up with some kind of uh, theme or overarching goal to push me forward towards in, uh, in my various challenges. Because eventually you do have to start finding your own fun and your own danger levels. Alright, I am out of pine nuts. Let's just um, have some more cooked meat, fruit leather, and some more pine needle tea. We should have a really good hidden health stat. Alright, and I need to go upstairs and get some leather before the sun goes down. Alright, we took care of the owlbear problem. Let's put that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> All right, do to do to do. Pretty massive upgrade in protection factor that we just uh, we just accomplished. Still not going to hold off predators easily, but um, it does help quite a bit. Let's see if this thing can even hurt me now. Probably yes. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, am I getting some dodge skill? Dodge 79%. 81%. Alright. Come up and try to hit me while I'm doing my work. Scratch my headlamp. <laughs> and we're at uh, level 3 dodge. And it didn't go up any further. I think that's as far as child zombie can take you. Yeah. Alright. Time to kill the child zombie. Axe kicked for 10. Knock back. This is pretty impressive that I'm actually hitting a child zombie while wearing the duffel bag. Yeah, that's what I expected. Four, four misses. All right, take it apart, take it apart, that's it, right? Yep. All right, more leather and more shorts. That's pretty much it. So hopefully that's all the leather I need for a while. Our battery, don't need any of that stuff. Yep, all right, I think we're done there. Ooh, hit, hit my duffel bag. Leather jacket. Yeah, let's take that in case we do need a few more pieces of leather. Alright, being able to ignore nicks from little zombies is going to be a huge help. Alright, so we got that. That lets us do the recurve is what we'll use temporarily. Then I need the quiver. Alright. And I'm going to need some arrows. What kind of arrows can we make? Um, wooden broadhead. Can't use bolts. Ah, crap. I need metalworking. Gotta have the metalworking. I forgot these things take the uh, forge anvil. 